What's something that you would love to bring back? Maybe it's an old trend or an old meme, maybe an old song. For me, anything from summer 2016, I would love to bring back. But you know what? What if we go back a little more in time? Back to a period where rubber bands were everywhere. And I'm not talking about silly bands, although those are really cool too. I'm talking about the one and only loom bracelets. You guys remember those bracelets, right? They were everywhere. And when I was in sixth grade, they were such a craze. Every day you would see people with three to five of these on their wrists. And your boy used to be a businessman. Cause when I would see a trend, I would follow it, capitalize on it. You know what I mean? So I really wouldn't wear them. Instead, I would make them. Yes, sir, your boy had a little small business of making and selling loom bracelets. Every day after school, I would spend two hours making them so I can sell them to my classmates. And at first I would make the most simple designs and sell them for cheap. You know, like for about a dollar. And everybody would run to me to buy some. I even sold one to a teacher. And if that doesn't mean status, I don't know what does. And while business was booming, I decided to learn a little more crazy designs. Like, you know, the ones that would take you an hour to make. And of course your boy would sell them for way more. $7, $9, and people would actually buy them. I was making insane money as a sixth grader. And word was spreading around. Yo, where did you buy that one? From Jorge. His loom bracelets are insane. So the more people that would hear about my bracelets, the more people would come to me. And the more idiots I would have to deal with. Hey man, I heard you're selling them bracelets. Yeah, how can I help you? How much for that hexagon looking one? Seven dollars. Bet. And I questioned his IQ. Because he didn't give me seven dollars. He gave me one wrinkled up dollar bill and a piece of gum. What are those? Dude, what is this? That's enough, right? <laughs> no. Keep the change, man. Boy, if you don't walk away right now. And every day for about a week, I would have to deal with this guy. But dude, you're not going to finesse me. Come on, bro. I'll throw him some Takis too. Ugh. Fine. I gave in so he can leave me alone. Two days later at lunch, I'm eating with my friends. A little lunch break. <laughs> However, my lunch break was cut short. Why, you may ask? Because I see one of my friends with the bracelet that I sold the kid for for a dollar and the bag of Takis. Um, where did you get that? Oh, I bought it off this kid for eight dollars. Eight dollars? How much? Man, what is this? Randy 2.0? I don't think you guys understand how much I went through with my small business. I was on the brink of bankruptcy with all of these kids taking advantage of me. <laughs> However, I learned a lot of skills during that period. And you know what? Let me share some of these. Welcome to Orchada's one-on-one -on -one business class by Orchada Soto. Uh, ignore that. Rule number one, if they're all like, oh, I have money in my locker, they're lying, okay? Don't believe that, that's cap. You know what they look like? This is the face that you should give them. Yeah, you gotta give them that kind of face, you know what I mean? Why are you lying face? Okay, rule number two, only take food if you're hungry, not cause you're nice. Cause this is what happened to me. Wait, don't hit the picture yet. Okay, we hit the picture, go <laughs> back. Yeah, so there was this point where I had over 20 bags of Takis in my locker and I literally didn't know what to do with them. So I literally just gave them all to my buddies. I know I could have sold them, but to who? The people who gave me the bags? That was me. Those are the people trading Takis for loom bracelets. And rule number three, don't take returns. There's no point in returns. What is this, Walmart? No, it's not. Get that out of here. See, I'll give you an example. This is what happened to me. Hey, man, I broke my bracelet. Can I get a new one? Bro, it looks like you bit it. Man, get that saliva coated stuff out of here. It literally grossed me out. So be careful, guys. Learn from your mistakes. Man, actually thinking about it, let's actually not bring these back. Cling. Wait, hit, hit it again. Wait, no, wait, hit it one more time. Yeah, there we go, see, see? Oh, we gotta do that part again. How many times do we practice this? A couple times? Follow the Instagram.